Meghan's sweetest photo inside Prince Charles's Clarence House living room. Such a sweet photo of them together. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall opened up their Clarence House home on Tuesday. As Camilla held an event to mark International Women's Day, the Duchess celebrated the achievements of three female rowers, who crossed the Atlantic in record time. Kat Cordina, who has cancer, Abby Johnston, and Charlotte Irving, all part of Team Extraordinary, arrived in Antigua in January after rowing at sea for 42 days, 7 hours and 17 minutes. As Camilla posed alongside them in her royal living room, fans would have no doubt been delighted to notice several royal photographs, including a very sweet and iconic picture of Prince Charles and Meghan together. The picture in question was taken during Meghan and Prince Harry's royal wedding in May 2018. The black and white photo shows the heir to the throne walking the bride to be down the aisle. At the time, and the royal stepped in after Meghan's father, Thomas Markell, was unable to assist due to ill health. Another frame holds a picture of Harry taken during the 2014 Invictus Games in London. Prince Harry has previously spoken out about Prince Charles' offer to walk Meghan to the altar. Speaking in the documentary Prince, Son and Heir, Charles at 70 which months after the wedding, Harry revealed. I asked him to and I think he knew it was coming and he immediately said. Yes, of course, I'll do whatever Meghan needs and I'm here to support you. For him, that's a fantastic opportunity to step up and be that support, and you know he is our father so of course, he's gonna be there for us. Other pictures that could be seen around the living room include a stunning black and white picture of the Queen and Prince Philip. As well as one of Charles and Camilla casually chatting with each other on a wooden bench. Photographer Hugo Bernan captured the moment, in which Charles is dressed in a suit while Camilla wears a white dress. In the garden of Clarence House in the summer of 2018. The couple later released a photo as their Christmas card. Meghan was inspired to change a TV commercial at the age of 11. After having seen the Procter & Gamble commercial that advertised its ivory dish washing soap solely to women. The commercial for the soap struck her as unfair and insensitive. When she heard, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. I don't think it's right for kids to grow up thinking these things. That just mom does everything, the then 11 year old said during an interview with Nick News. Megan decided to write to the company and ask them to change their slogan. From women all over America to people all over America and the company did. Megan starred in the TV series Suits for seven seasons, and she spoke out when she felt her character was continuously sexualized. Speaking at the One Young World Conference in Dublin, Megan reportedly said. This season, every script seemed to begin with Rachel Antas wearing a towel. And I said, no, not doing it anymore. I called the creator and I said and I was like, it's just gratuitous. We get it, we've already seen it once. So I think at a certain point you feel empowered enough to just say no. Megan penned a powerful essay for time on the stigma surrounding menstruation in the developing world. I traveled to Delhi and Mumbai this January with World Vision to meet girls. And women directly impacted by the stigmatization of menstrual health and to learn how it hinders girls' education. She wrote. 113 million adolescent girls between the ages of 12-14. In India alone are at risk of dropping out of school because of the stigma surrounding menstrual health. She added that girls feel embarrassed and ill-equipped, causing them to stop going to school. Wasted opportunity is unacceptable with stakes this high, Megan said. To break the cycle of poverty. And to achieve economic growth and sustainability in developing countries, young women need access to education. In a 2022 video for International Women's Day, part of Meghan's UN speech was included alongside the words of other feminist women, it is said that girls with dreams become women with vision. While spending time in Canada in early 2020, Meghan visited Justice for Girls a non-profit in Vancouver that promotes equality and health for teens living in poverty. During the 90-minute visit, as they talked about everything from female leadership skills to the rights of indigenous women, Megan was listening intently, Annabelle Webb, the group's co-founder, tells. As co-director Zoe Craig Sparrow, we all felt at ease, and I think that was a testament to the Duchess. She said it was important for her to get to know the local context around the issues in the communities. 
Megan sent personalised notes of encouragement to women who received support from SmartWorks, a UK charity she patrons that helps unemployed women in need with clothing and training for job interviews, in March 2021. Meghan and Prince Harry surprised a teenager girl with a virtual mentoring session. It was really significant for her because they saw her potential in a few short minutes, which actually really undid some damage. That had been previously caused by a former teacher's doubt, L.A. Works Executive Director Deborah Bracci told. It was just amazing how they were able to connect and how their compassion, in just a short conversation, really made an impact and is going to forever inspire her. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.